Hello, Pinky. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Chat. Yeah, so how's everything going with you, Pinky? Uh, uh, what, what? How's everything going with you? Uh, it's quiet and there's no problem. Oh, by the way, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, there you are. Okay, well, that's nice because everything's going well with you. Anyway, what's the weather right now? Uh, it's very hot outside. Yeah, same in here too. It's so hot. And I even took a shower twice. Okay, so did you do anything special this morning, Pinky? Um, no. All right. Okay. Now this time, we're going to continue with our test. This is part three in reading and writing. So, for each question, so this is very easy, you choose the correct answer. This will test your reading skills. It's all about cyclist Vicky Harmiston. Okay, now let's look and read. Uh, cyclist Vicky Harmiston. Reporter Mark Lewis writes about Vicky Harmiston who has a successful career as a track cyclist. A cyclist who races on special race tracks. When Vicky Hamilton was a child, uh, her parents gave her and her brother Jamie to the freedom to decide what they did in their free time. Vicky chose to do lots of different sports. She was a good swimmer and the coach of the swimming well, she went to thought she might be good enough to become a champion. That club was a long way from her home, so it was difficult for her to fit, fit the, in the training around fit the training around her schoolwork. When they were teenagers, Jamie, who loved cycling, bought himself her special track racing bike and started taking part in competitions. Vicky taught uh uh Vicky thought it looked very interesting and decided to try it for herself. She says that was the best decision she ever made. So she was cycling every day and doing doing really well. The track was near her school, which means it was no problem for her to attend training sessions after school every day. Vicky went on to have a successful career in track cycling and won several competitions. Then she, when she was 28, she retired from competitive cycling Vicky told me for years I love winning competitions, but I began to get a bit tired of the whole thing. And she went and when the excitement stops, there's no point. Luckily I went on to have a new career. Vicky got a job with a clarity called Psychozone. We work with young people who have never enjoyed sports. We, he says the first thing we do is teach them to ride a bike. We want them to learn to believe in themselves and their own ability. Psychozone does a great job and it gets young people together so they are part of a wider group. The charity uses celebrities to advertise the work they do. Vicky says, I know some people aren't sure whether the support of a celebrity is always positive for a charity. They say the celebrity are only doing to push themselves forward, which uh, which prevents the public, the public from seeing the real world of the charity. But if famous singers and actors, for example, can help, I think they should. 
Very good. Thank you so much for reading this one, Pinky. You are a great reader. However, there is only one word that you mispronounce. I want you to say charity. Charity. Very good. So do you have any question about this text, Pinky? Mm -hmm. No. Wow, very good. Okay, now let's continue with the question and answer. When Vicky first, oh, by, by the way, this one, you're going to look and complete the sentences or answer the questions with the correct answer. So what's number 11, Pinky? Uh, Vicky starts at right seven. Uh, her brother gave her a race back. Okay, so she could get to a racetrack easily. That's letter C. Okay, what about number 12? Why does Vicky say she stopped cycling, cycle racing? Uh, because uh, she, was, she, she was becoming more fit. Very good. That's right. Okay, now what does the charity cycle zone do for young people? Uh, to, to offer them to change the chance to try a person in sports. All right. So it's letter D. It helped them become more confident. Okay, now what about number 14? According to Vicky, some people believe that celebrities can uh, can take attention away from that a uh, charity does. Very good. Okay, number 15, what would Vicky say on her blog? Uh, if you join Psychozone, you want to meet celebrities and learn how they get they to system. Okay, so it is actually letter C. Although track cycling is not the only sport I've been good at, I've never regretted my choice of career. Okay, so for this one, you've got one and two. That is two out of five. That's all right. Okay, now let's move on with part four of test one. So five sentences have been removed from the text below. So for each question, you're going to choose the correct answer. And there are three extra sentences, which you do not need to use. Take note of this one, Pinky. Okay, now in here, we have at home together. Let me see if there's there are choices. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I want you to look at the choices. Take a picture of it. I'll send it to you in Zoom. Because while reading, you could actually look for this one. All right. Yeah. Now, are you ready? Uh Yes. Okay. So look and complete the sentences at home together. Tammy Tess Kinnan is an 83-year-old woman who lives in a care home called Rudolph House in Helsinki, Finland. A care home is a place where all people can live and may look after if they don't live with their families. At Drew Jones' house, there are a lot of stairs, so there are some rooms with elderly can't access easily. As a result, the city council decided to rent these spare rooms to young people. They call this new housing program the house that fits. When Timmy heard about the council's Dance. He wondered how it was going to work. She couldn't imagine uh, how it was going to work. Uh, yeah. 
What's your answer in number 16? I think uh, it's letter C. Let me see. As a result, she wasn't sure whether the young people had arrived. Nice try, Pinky. It's letter G. It would be the first time that anything like this had happened at Rudolph House. That's letter G. Okay, now let's continue. Um, you could imagine that we have a common with young people who were family members. Then one morning, a few days after, after a young man appeared outside her room. Uh, surprising herself, she talked about growing up in a light side town in Eastern Finland. I think it's letter A. Try again, please. It is actually letter D. She'd left the door open, as she always did, in the morning. Yes, like, look. Then one morning, a few days later, a young man appeared outside her room. Okay, why did the young man appear outside her room? Because he'd left the door open, as she always did in the morning. Okay, now... <laughs> Let's con let's continue. Hi. Now let me make it bigger. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. The young the young man said, "My name's Jonathan Saya. May I come in?" Please do. She brought. She replied immediately. Curious. I'll make coffee. He, he announced going into her tiny kitchen. Why don't you tell me about yourself? He asked as he brought their drinks to the table. Uh, later age is that they use talk as if they know each other forever. Try again, Pinky, one last try. Uh, letter F. Letter F. Because of this, has to be a new name. Ah, okay. It's actually letter A. Surprisingly herself, she talked about growing up in a lakeside town in eastern Finland. If somebody would ask you to talk about yourself, of course, you would talk about yourself. So that is letter A in here. Okay. He also... Uh, he also... He also told him about her family and how much she loved making art. In turn, 20-year-old Jonathan told Tammy he'd been living in Helsinki with his father and younger brother until they moved away. He was in the middle of a course in the city, turning to become a chef. Uh, letter B. Therefore, he needed to find somewhere to live. Very good. That's right. He needed to find somewhere to live. Great. Okay. Now, what about here? That's when we heard about. Uh, that's when he heard about the house that fits on social media. The concert's post resulted in over 300 young people applying to live at Drew House. They have face-to-face -face interviews and wrote short essays about why they wanted to live there. Uh, 
à Uh, it would be the first time that anything uh, no uh, you letter, are your letter e. uh -huh. that's right letter e. very good in the end that's correct in the end Three of them, including Jonathan, were chosen. Okay. And that's how the unlikely friendship between Paimi and Jonathan began. Okay. So for this one, you also got the same score. Two out of five, Pinky. So do you have any question about this one, Pinky? No. No. All right. Now let's continue. Oh, there's actually more, but just the continuation of the story. Oh, so this is actually like the answers. Yes. Oh, so there are answers in here. Okay. Now, what about in here? This is the last part of, of this one, I think. Okay, so there are questions 21 to 26. For each question, you choose the correct answer. It's all about the invention of crisps. Are you familiar with crisp, Pinky? Uh, yes. Very good. Do you like eating crisp? Yes, I used to eat it every day. Hmm. Very good. Okay, there are actually choices in here. So, of course... I will take a picture of it again so that I can send it to you and complete the sentences. Or let me just make it smaller. If I make it smaller, can you see it clearly or no? Uh, yes, can you see I can it? see it. Okay, so let's just do it like this. Okay, so let's read the invention of Chris. Uh, potato crisps were invited, invited by Essie in 1853 by a chef called George Crumb. He was extremely uh, proud of his cookery skills. Number so we have... 21 is A. Yes, that's right. Proud. Uh, and the expensive hotel that where he would attack customers who were used to eating only the best food. 22 is C. Very good. One evening, a particular difficult to please guest complained about crumb fried potatoes there to thick, and he said to soft, we have no flavor. He he wanted that they should replace. Okay, try again one last time. Um, he convinced. What's that? He convinced. That's okay. I... It's to demanded. He demanded that they should be replaced. Okay. What about this one? Uh, the customer's negative. Uh, explanations made Graham extremely angry. 24 is the... What letter? Explanations. Try again one last time. Reasons. 
All right. So we have here comment. When we say comments, that is the feedback of the customer. Uh, so he decided to annoy the customer. He cut a paper into paper thin slices, fried the pieces until they were hard, put them for too much salt on them, he ate them. Graham thought, but the customer loved them and ordered more. News of his new snack traveled fast and an absolutely wide, global, wide. Oh, wait a minute. News of this new snack traveled fast and an absolutely blank global wide. industry has grown from Crumb's invention. Wide global industry. Ah, okay. This is huge. Huge global industry has grown from Crumb's invention. Yes. Uh, even though his fried potatoes were actually, actually invented to taste disgusting. That's right. Very good. Okay, wow. So there is actually a progress. <laughs> You've got three out of five. Very good, Pinky. So look how funny the crisps was invented. Yes. Okay, so this is the history of the crisp. Okay, do you know how to make crisps on your own, Pinky? Hello, Pinky? Hello, Pinky? No, I don't. Oh, all right. Okay. Now, let's continue with this one. Oh, there is actually part six. So, let me see how many more parts. Okay. So, here, this is the last part of reading. So, for each question, you tell me the correct answer. So, you will be the one to write one word for each gap. So, take note that there is no choices. There are no any choices in here. Okay, so you think of your answer. So it's all about, it is a letter from Sam. Let's read. Hi, Alex. How are you? This week's been a very busy one for me. I finally moved house. A uh, uh, house blank. Was it until I were, I started to pack a few days ago that I realized how much stuff I have? I really think moving now is one of the blank, the stressful, stressful thing I ever done. I was sad to leave my old house after blank. I lived there, lived there my whole life, so I have lots of good news. Anyway, I'm looking uh, I'm looking back to being in this new house. It's not as big as the old one, but like this is not a rich bed. I'm planning to have a small party on Saturday night. Are you free then? Why don't you come along like you are? I hope you can make it let me know all the best. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for this one. So you can see that there are how many blanks? Six blanks in here, Pinky. So what word can you put in each blank? Let me give you an example. Hi, Alex. How are you? This week's been ve a very busy one for me. I finally moved house. So this, the first blank is it. It wasn't until I started to Back a few days ago that I realized how much stuff I had. It really I really think moving house is one of the most stressful things. Very good. Most stressful. What about number 29? I've ever done. I was sad to leave my old house after. After all. Wow, very good. 
Okay, anyway, I'm looking forward. Wow, great job to begin in this new house. It's not as big as the old one, but. But at least. Oh, nice. It's not, it's got a great garden. I'm planning to have a small party on Saturday night. Are you free then? Why don't you come along? If you are. Wow, perfect. You've got six out of six in here. Well done, Pinky. Okay, so so you are good in answering um, activities that don't have options at all. Yes, compared to having options where you only got two points, three points, but this one makes you, I mean, in this activity, you've got perfect score. Very good, Pinky. So any question about moving house? No. Nice. Now let's move on with our writing. So by the way, Pinky, I encourage you to write because it, it is all about writing so you must answer this question you write your answer in about 100 words on the answer sheet so you read this email from your english speaking college classmate alex and the notes that you have made so imagine that alex is your college uh, classmate so you are now in college and alex is your classmate from the college okay now we have here from Alex, and the subject is all about college science presentation. So I want you to look and read. Hi. Hi. It's great that we're going to work together on the college science presentation. Here can we choose the reference as a topic? We only have two ways to be prepared. So can we start tomorrow? Where can we go to repair the presentation? My cousins are staying at my house at the moment, so we can work there because it's too noisy. We can give our presentation to the class either in the morning or the afternoon. Which would make you prefer to let me know that? Very good. So you're going to write your email to Alex using all of the, all of the notes. So you can write your answer in this area, Pinky, like this one. All right. So this time, Pinky, I will give you the time to write your response to Sam's or to Alex's message. Uh... Uh, I need, uh, I have to, uh, think it first, so I have to, and I um, you could actually, okay, you could actually, like, write it immediately in here, like, for example, um, since you mm -hmm. are, since you are, um, you are pinky, then you can say, hi, Alex. Or dear Alex, like that. Mm. Uh, yes, today. Uh, I think it is not. Um, there is enough space to write, so I want to talk on it. Oh, what do you want to do? You want to. Yes, talk, yeah, and I don't think it has enough space to write. Oh, don't worry about the space. I will give you all the space, like for this one. Oh, okay. So here it is, Pinky. Like you could actually have all the space because this is writing so of course i'm going to encourage you to write so that we can improve your writing skills especially the grammar the spelling the but the 
the what's that the punctuation marks like that so this is all the space that you have but i can't see the uh catch the i the idea and the hint it's okay uh, wait a minute you can take a picture of this page But my phone is has a limitation, so I can use two tabs. It's hard to see. Ah, oh, I understand. What about if I'm going to send a picture of it in Zoom? Then that way you don't have to use two tabs. Uh, uh I think it's okay, but... Uh, it has some accidents. It may have some accidents. What do you mean accident? Uh, because when I stop, I go into the chat box to see the picture. And if I went out of the chat box, is the, my, uh, when I was in it my text disappeared, so I have to write it again. Oh, okay. So yes, you can write your answer, then you can read it later on. Or you can just what should I do? Or you can just talk about it instead. Uh yes. Uh, I have to talk now. Yeah, sure. Whenever you're ready. Uh, dear Alice, is thinking, and I am so uh happy and excited that I can work together about the same presentation with you. But I don't think. The, we should choose the rainforest as our topic and because uh, I think the other team uh, should have chosen it. So I think we must talk about uh, talk about animals. Uh, tomorrow I am Busy, so sorry I can't uh prepare with you. Uh, maybe at the weekend I will try to spend time uh preparing the topic with you. I suggest we go to the library because my house is very. Uh, dirty and is small. We can go to the library because there's a lot of there's a lot of book for us to uh to read and prepare the topic. I can give our presentation to the class uh in the morning. So if uh, when you're free, let me know, uh, Pinky. Wow, well done, Pinky. Very good because you followed all the clues in here. Using no and but, saying sorry, making suggestion, and tell Alex. Okay, so great. Well done for that one, Pinky. So I'm going to give you a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Oh, no, maybe 8 out of 10. <laughs> Okay, 8 out of 10. Why minus 2? Because this is about writing. Since you couldn't write, so that's minus 2. Okay, but well done. Well, still well done, Pinky, because the flow of your response to Alex's email is very smooth. And you did what you had to do. So that's a job well done for you. 
Okay. Now, what about here? So you choose one of these questions only. You can write your answer in about 100 words on the answer sheet. Okay, so look, you see this announcement in an English language magazine. So is shopping boring? What do you like and dislike about shopping? What could shopping centers do to attract more people? Write an article answering this question. Or you could actually look look at this. You like your English teacher has asked you to write a story. Your story must begin with this sentence. Jack climbed out of the boat and ran as fast as he could to the beach. So what do you want? Do you want to answer the question or to write your story? I want to answer the question. Very good. Do you do you want to write or just say it immediately? Uh, I just say it. Okay, very good. So now you can share Pinky. Shopping is not boring at all. And shopping helps people to uh, lessen the stress and and is is very interesting and uh, so interesting because we can buy anything we like and uh, shopping uh is very good and uh we uh but shopping has some uh But shopping doesn't good at all, isn't good at all. Uh, when we shop, we has to pay a lot of money. Uh, but when we buy the brand shoes or clothes or some expensive makeup, uh, some expensive things, we have to uh spend a lot of money so it is uh a lot of money so is we should uh go shopping once a month or twice a month because by the way by that way we can save our money. I like shopping because it can help. I I have many things that I have to buy, and if there's no shopping in the world, I can't live to up. To, I can't live until now. But when I go shopping, I have to decide. May a uh, thing between many options, so I have to think about it a lot. Shopping centers, uh, it ha it has, uh, some it must has some discount. This, uh, the such as the, in the Black Friday, uh, all the clothes and goods are sale. So it so uh by that way it can attract more and more people. Very good. Wow. Well done. Actually, the content of your if of your answers are very great, Pinky, because you're able to provide examples and answer the questions directly. You've mentioned about Black Friday. Could you tell me more about Black Friday, Pinky? What is it and when does it usually happen? Uh, it has 